Okay. <sighs> I know that my microphone conked out before. So, I can tell you that I got a whole stack of flowers planted over there. All different kinds. And now I have another tray that I'm going to put all different kinds in. I want to give everybody a hint on something because I have had some problems this year with my seed starting mix being too dry and just not taking up the water no matter what I did to it. So what I did this time around was I took the seed starting mix, stuck it in a saucer like this just so that it wouldn't leak on anything because these bags are not waterproof and I put a couple of cups of water in this like in the morning and then I closed it back up and left it and then I did that again like later in the afternoon so I'm not creating anything that's soggy but by having it in there and letting it sit there just like in the I literally kind of like dug a little hole in the center and poured the water in it really moisturized the entire bag so that I'm not getting that hydrophobic reaction when I put water on it. Now this batch here has also been sitting in um, a tray of water for a little while so you can see I, you may or may not be able to see there's a difference in color here this section here is lighter and this section here is darker and uh, we're ho I'm hoping that will help the whole process because it's very annoying to have that hydrophobic response. So far, so good. So now it's on to zinnias. And I have a billion zinnias because I really like zinnias. I'm going to start with the dwarfs. <laughs> And my goal is to, some of these I'm going to complete the uh, containers on because they were from last year and I don't like to keep them too late. These need to be planted a half an inch deep. So I'm going to smush these pretty good. Okay, I have a couple of escape eaters here. Let's see if I can figure out where they escape to. You scoop there. I don't mind occasionally getting an extra one in here, but in this case I got like three. I don't want three. Keep the hands dry, otherwise the seeds will fly all over the place. Zinnias are an odd shaped seed, so they're kind of hard to... You can't roll them neatly between your fingers. <laughs> because they were... 87% germination to start with, and now they're a year older. So, let's see here. I got everybody out? I do. Okay. <sighs> hmm. Now. <laughs> That's messy. Okay, what else do we have here? Cactus mix. I'm not sure I'm in love with cactus. Okay, there's that. That's the zinnia mixed. Uh, I need to put giant. These just say zinnia mixes, so I want to make sure that I know they're the big ones, not the short ones. Okay, there. Now, I haven't put any dirt on top of these yet, so I'll be fixing that later. Let's see, I have. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. <laughs> okay, so these are the Oklahoma mix. Then I want to put in. I've got Bannery Giant yellow zinnias and Bannery Giant purple zinnias. So. I think I'm just going to grab some new ones. I now have an entire 162 tray, and it's all zinnias. Dwarf zinnias, cactus flowered zinnias, giant zinnia mixes, uh, and purple and yellow. Most of those are Haas tools. I had some old, um, this one, Oklahoma form Formula Mix Improved. So I think I've got one row of that, this one right there. Figured I might as well finish them up. But everybody else is set to go. So let's get all this one put away. Ooh. And I am going to put dirt on it. <laughs> now the advantage to planting all of one kind of flower in one tray is that they all get planted in the same depth. Because there's nothing different about these in terms of their um, requirements. So I was able to just poke holes about a half an inch deep. And then fill them in afterwards with potting soil. I mean with uh, seed starting soil. Yay. <laughs> yeah, this soil is pretty damp to start with, which is great. But still going to give it a nice little shower to help to help uh, settle the seeds in. You want the soil to settle in nicely around the seeds. I love watching the top dirt sort of settle when you put that fine mist on it. You just know that the soil is settling in around the seed and moisture is all going into the soil rather than sort of bouncing off and rolling away the way it does sometimes. I think that's got it pretty good now. And I will do this probably twice a day, maybe more, until we're all up. And then I will still continue to do it <laughs> to make sure everybody's wet enough. I think that's it for me today. That's uh, Replanted all the tomatoes and husk cherries and peppers and did two 162 trays of uh, these are all zinnias. These are snapdragons, purple poppies, um, cardinal climber, which is a vine, polka dot uh, bachelor buttons, echinacea. Two different colors of uh, miniature single marigolds, some dianthus, and one hollyhock. <laughs> I was cracked to be up that there was one hollyhock seed left in that package, and um, some ageratum. I do have actually got other things to do today, including cooking dinner. <laughs> so. Uh, I promised Henry I would make stir fry tonight. And we have leftover uh, 
red bean bao from last night. I made Chinese last night too, so ah, enough, 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 enough. I'll have to mash things around before I can do more because I need more spots for seed trays. <laughs> uh, Going to be harvesting out a bunch of broccoli and probably a couple of the cabbages and that will give me more space. I'll be able to shift some of the stuff over there. And that'll be good because I'm going to need more space because we're going to cram everything with seedlings. So, as you can tell, there's lots going on. So be sure to come back. Be sure to like and subscribe so that you, and hit that notification bell so that you know when we're doing something else because you don't want to miss it. We got lots going on. And until next time, bye. <laughs> and uh, don't forget, keep on brainstorming because obviously we are. <laughs>